It is 2022, and if you're anything like me, you have a laundry list of resolutions. Now for me, at the top of that, what I really wanna do during 2022 is build a daily habit of spending time with God, which is where this video comes in because I found an excellent app that will help us accomplish that in an incredible way. That app is Glorify, and they actually reached out to me about doing a sponsored video, and even though this video is sponsored, I never partner with companies that I don't honestly believe in. I've been using this app now for over a month. Uh, it's honestly increased my daily time that I get to spend with God, and it's also done it in a, a very like simple but very profound way as well. I, I believe that it's actually made my daily time with God simpler and more repeatable, but even deeper. In their own words, Glorify is an app designed to help Christians and strengthen their daily connection to God. And I think that's incredible. So if one of your resolutions is to spend more time with God or create a daily habit of spending time with God this year, which by the way, I think you should, then this app might be a really good solution for you. I, I truly mean that. I, I think it's awesome. And they've hooked us up. Uh, we have an exclusive offer from Glorify. Anyone that uses my code down below, it's JeffGlorify01. Uh, using that code gets you a free month of Glorify Plus. Uh, and I'll have my affiliate link down below if you guys want to use that. My plan in this video is to take you through today's study in this app and, and show you what it looks like. We're going to have a daily Bible reading, a, a daily devotion, uh, we're going to have a moment of praise and worship. We're going to have a moment of prayer. Um, and this app is going to bring it all together. And I think they say it, that it does it in under five minutes. Uh, what I love the most about it is that it'll actually read all of it to you. Uh, and sometimes I know of a morning, like my morning's going to be crazy. I got kids and I got a lot of stuff going on and I can just hit it and tell it to start playing it. And it's really like soothing and it can bring me into that moment and kind of calm everything down as it reads it to me in a, a really like comforting voice. Um, but before we jump in, a little bit of information about Glorify. So I'm pretty certain you're going to recognize some of the names of the founding partners of the app. Sadie Robertson Huff, uh, Corey Robertson, Priscilla Shire, and Joel Houston were all some of the founding partners. Uh, and they said that they started Glorify to help Christians, no matter where they are, find a way to connect with God on their own terms, which is something that so many of us need. Um, I hear all the time that uh, we don't have time to build that habit with God or, or I don't know how. I know when I first became a Christian, I didn't understand chapters and verses or any of that stuff. I didn't know where to start. I really wish I didn't had an app like Glorify when I first became a Christian. They say on their page, our app, which features bite-sized and manageable content, as well as exclusive music, meditations, declarations, journaling, and more, is designed to make one's daily worship accessible, encouraging, and easily repeatable. No matter if you have five minutes or an hour to devote, there is an experience on Glorify for you. Now with that said, let's go ahead and open up the app and get to it. All right, so when you first open up Glorify, you're gonna be greeted with uh, this page. Now, I'll, the first thing I'm gonna say, and this is a little bit superficial, but as a designer, I really, really appreciate the aesthetic of Glorify. So I'm just gonna take you through my daily reading. This is my, this is my favorite part of the app. As you see, we have uh, our, our daily stuff right here at the top. Um, and we're gonna start with uh, today's worship. And I'm gonna start with my, my daily quote. Uh, and this is from Jerry Bridges and it says, grow deep roots to harvest rich fruit. When your roots run deep, you cannot help but bear the fruit of the spirit. And so I have the option to share, I can heart it and it's gonna go to my notes. Um, I'm gonna tap there to complete and I'm gonna move on to my passage. I have the opportunity or the option to listen to it or to read it. Uh, I'm gonna click listen. So this is what I love to do. And Welcome I want you guys to hear the to voice. Welcome to today's daily worship. Today's passage is Mark chapter 10, verses 17 to 27. All things are possible. As Jesus started on his way, a man ran up to him and fell on his knees before him. Good teacher, he asked, what must I do to inherit eternal life? Why do you call me good? Jesus answered, No one is good except God alone. So it's going to read the Bible passage to you. Today we have Mark 10, 17 through 27. Um, and it does seem that the passages and the studies that it gives you are, are relevant during Christmas. There was Christmas passages and Christmas studies. Um, and so after I would finish this, I would, I would read my way through. Um, and then I would go on to my daily devotional. And again, I have the opportunity to listen. I think this is one of the things that separates Glorify is that even during the devotional, you can listen to it, which is phenomenal. And you still have that great, like soothing voice. Um, and if we listen to it, you have that voice available in, in male or female. Let's now take a closer look at today's passage. 
And so right there is uh, the female's voice. And, and you would have this, this very short devotion. Uh, it's under two minutes and 59 seconds, but it gives you a, a great little study. It gives you great information and it helps you kick the day off uh, on the right foot. Uh, after you finish up your devotion, you would go into your reflection. Now, this is one that I really like. And again, this is something else that makes Glorify so unique. And so if I were to start it up, it's almost going to be like a guided Welcome prayer. to today's reflection. Jesus extends his mercy and grace to you today. Come into his presence and joyfully receive what he wants to release into your heart. And you see, this is about another two minutes, 47 seconds, and it is a, you're gonna have that, that, that nice soothing picture. And there's different pictures you can flip through, and, and as you flip through them, this also changes the music. And as you can see, there are just several that you can flip through. Um, and you have this music that is very soothing, very comforting, um, really nice. This is probably my favorite part uh, of, of the morning. And I make sure, if, even if I'm listening to the other ones, I'll have my AirPods in or whatever. Um, at this point, I sit down and I hold my phone in my hands and I, I take that as a few minutes that I sit down and I pray and I, and I praise God. Um, I, I take that time to worship Him. Um, and, to, and to let myself be guided through this prayer. It's really an incredible part of my morning. And I think that it's, it's one of those things that really does help me just almost be in a better mood the rest of the day. And there we go. So I got my daily worship complete. That is just in your today. This is what you would do every single day. You wake up uh, or, or however it works for your schedule. Maybe you can't do it as soon as you wake up. You got kids and you gotta get them to school, whatever that looks like, you know. Maybe this is what you do right before you go to bed. Uh, maybe this is what you do at, at break, at, at your first break at work. I don't, I don't know, you know, figure out your own schedule, but make this a routine that you repeat. Um, then you can go over here to the listen. And so this is just more time that you can spend. So this is outside of your daily time. Um, you have this section here uh, with more meditations and more prayers that you can go. And so you can choose uh, for the day. You can go for your thoughts of the day. You can go to like past thoughts of the day. If there's one that really spoke to you or that you wanted to hear again, you wanted to go back through it, you could go right back here. Um, there are more meditations. And, and so you can go through, there's more declarations. Um, here, I guess the, this listen again, this is, you know, whatever you've listened to, you can go back and listen to it again. And more prayers. Uh, there's even a kids section. Okay, I may have to check this out for my kids. Let's, uh, let's listen to one. Let's go David and Goliath. Welcome to Glorify. We hope you enjoy the following story about David and Goliath. This story takes place at a dangerous time when the Philistines were at war with the Israelites. Wow, so there's even some Bible stories. I actually hadn't even found this until just now. All right, so the next thing you can do, uh, set down an, oh nice, you can actually set a, a sleep meditation. That's something that I really like to do, honestly. I like to turn on and listen to the Bible as I fall asleep. Um, and it sounds like you, you can do that right here with your wind down reminder. Uh, I'm discovering new things now too, guys. I've mainly been doing the today stuff. I haven't gotten over here and played a lot in this other stuff, so this is really cool. Um, and in the Bible here, you have, uh, I mean, it's the Bible, so you can you can turn wherever you'd like. Uh, maybe I want to go John 3, uh, and I can read through. I can also adjust the sizes, which is really nice. Uh, adjust the size of the text, how you can read it. Yeah, so you have the Bible right there. Uh, next thing, you have prayers, so you can start a, a private prayer. Um, you can also have shared prayers. I think you need friends on here, and I don't have any friends yet, so if you guys get it, uh, make sure you send me a friend request. I'm pretty sure my name on here is just Jeff Evans. Um, and finally, you have journals, which you can see, uh, the, here's the quote from today that I hit my heart on. It went right to my journal. Um, here are some verses and some scripture that I've, that I've uh, highlighted and stuff. And so it's all right here. Uh, and you can actually hit that and add a journal entry, um, just like that. Um, I will say my favorite part is the daily. Um, it is just getting up and creating that routine for the day. And that's what I think is going to be really beneficial to a lot of us it is just creating that habit of every day spending time with God. And it's the same time, you know, every day or, or, or however that works out for your schedule. But you get up and you, you, you open up the app and you allow yourself to, to listen to the word of God, listen to the devotion they have and spend those few moments um, in praise and, and then move on to your stretch goals, right? And, and get into those declaration and declare these things over your day, declare 
declare these biblical truths in your life um, and allow that to lift you up. I think those declarations are going to help somebody. I truly do. Um, I truly believe that that declaring those truths directly out of Scripture over your life is going to help you see yourself in a new way, maybe in a, in a way you've never really looked at and seen yourself. Um, I really do think this app is going to help. And again, guys, down in the description, I'll have my code. And anyone that uses my code will get a free month of Glorify Plus. Um, also, my affiliate link is down below. So do me a favor, use that. And I get a little bit of kickback. But honestly, I would have made this video even if I didn't. Um, because one of the things that I've really st started thinking about is as I've gotten into doing more reaction content and doing all that, that there are people that are, are, are starting their walk with Jesus. And, and they need to know where to start. And I really do believe this is an excellent place to start. This is an excellent app to, to start and grow with, honestly, because you're not limited to that five minutes a day that you start off with. You can go and listen to devotion. You can go and open up the Bible and read. You can journal. You can take notes. Like This is a, a great all-around app to grow with you as you grow in Christ. Um, so guys, I really do help, I hope that it helps you out. And if you do get the app and sign up, make sure you add me as friends. And maybe we can share prayer requests and such. Uh, but guys, if you need anything, make sure you message me. Uh, let me know if you have the app. May, leave a comment down below and let me know what you think about it. Guys, by the way, if you're not already, make sure you sub to this channel. I'm putting out videos just like this every single week. We're also doing a lot of reaction content and giving a pastor's perspective on uh, a lot of secular music and a lot of stuff out there. And so make sure you sub so you can check that stuff out. And if you want to hang out with me live, I stream over on Twitch every Sunday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Pretty late at night, about 11 o'clock to 2 a.m. I'd love to hang out with you guys. If you want to come over, talk with me. Uh, I may be actually going through some of these devotions live on stream. So if you want to come over and sit as we go through these, come on over and hang out sometime, guys. I'll have it linked, uh, all that stuff linked down below. And I appreciate you, and I'll see you in the next one. Keep living that bold life.